Hello Floss Tube. We're the real housewives of Crossstitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. And here's superstar Ronnie. She's so excited she has her own chart. And we're here to talk to you about her stitching this week. She looks thrilled. <laughs> um, first of all, we want to Take say... Take two. <laughs> <laughs> we want to say uh, we had pregnancy brain, both of us, last video. So we apologize for not announcing the winner. We did the video twice last week and in the first take we did announce it and then the second one we completely forgot uh, so we had contacted the winner and we let her know not to purchase a chart uh, again it was for uh, guessing the farm Jeannie Swartz guessed it correctly and she won the random giveaway so uh, we contacted her and we will be sending her a chart when we get one but Jeannie Swartz was the winner last week and sorry that we forgot I won't say that it won't happen again, mm. but we'll try. Mm. We've got a list today. It is not on a paper plate, but it's it's something. So maybe we'll get through this. Okay. Um, questions. So we had a bunch of questions last week. So many comments. Thank you so much to all of you who commented. Uh, a ton of a ton of you were so excited about Mom's Queen Bee Flower Farm sign. So uh, stay tuned, and you'll get to see the whole thing if you haven't already. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Debbie wanted to know what fabric count did you stitch your farm on? 28. 28 count and it still fits in that, um, it, it's called for 32, mm -hmm. but 28 and it still fits in the farmhouse sign that she got from Hobby Lobby if you plan we, on finishing it that we way. We both only stitch on 28. Dude, we can't do mm -hmm. fire count. No shame here. <laughs> um, Lori, what, uh, would love to know what needle you're choosing for punch needle and if there will be punch alongs. I don't know, I'll have to learn how to do it and drag Chelsea in with me for a punch along, but it's the Ultra Punch is the one I'm going to get. She I have not it ordered yet. it yet. The only place I've been able to find it is on Amazon, so if you have a store that you want to recommend that sells that kind of thing. Link it below. Yeah. All right. Uh, Anna, have you done any Disney cruises? <laughs> well, back... Before there was the real Disney Cruise Line, Disney had lent their name to the Premier Cruise Line. It was Premier. <laughs> so when Chelsea was two, we took a Premier Cruise, and they had to move us to three different rooms before we could get one without guests already in it in the form of cockroaches. Roaches! <laughs> they were climbing on the walls. <laughs> they were on the cleaning carts. That's disgusting. It was the worst three days of my life <laughs> um but no we have not done like the grand disney cruises we've heard so many good things about them we've talked about doing it kind of as like a whole family mm -hmm. thing um maybe going on a disney cruise and then spending a couple days in the parks after you get back mm -hmm. to florida um that would be something down the line maybe like a 10 year from... i did go on a regular royal caribbean cruise a couple of years ago and i liked that Two it years was good ago, yeah I don't. I get nervous about how I do with seasickness, just because I I do get motion sickness really easy. So she do I, does but too. But I was fine once I got those bands on. The first night I was, mm, I'm I, not gonna be able to do this, <laughs> and then I put those bands on and I was fine. And we were out there for seven days. I don't know about that. Um, Amelia, when are you going to the very merry Christmas party? I think she said she is too. Hopefully in November. For her birthday. I have yet to be, to go to a Very Merry Christmas party or the Halloween party. So that's something that's definitely on my bucket list. And a lot of you were talking to me about running the marathon and you're like, you should train for it. You do. I'm more of a walker than a runner. So I don't know if they do those tracking things where like my husband could like track my pro, because I know he won't be running any marathons, but if he could track my progress, then I probably couldn't do it. But if I could walk and stop for some Mickey <laughs> bars and stuff, I'd be okay. Um, let's see. Kathy, where else can we get Monaco 123 Stitch is out? They should get it back in. They they, they run out every once in a while. But uh, put your name in the... The email. Right. And then they'll email you as soon as they have it in. And also, we saw it at Michael's last week in the tubes. And I think Hobby Lobby has it in the tubes. And maybe even Joanne Fabrics. Yeah, and some online shops have started carrying it. Mm -hmm. uh, some brick-and-mortar stores have started carrying it. Um, so, I would... I mean, people can link below if they've seen it in their local shop. So, she, mm -hmm. she can call as well. All right, Sandra Stitches. She wants to know, what are stitch dots? 
They are needle nannies. Needle minders that they have magnets on that you attach to your fabric. One on the top, one on the bottom, and then your needle sticks to it so it doesn't you don't lose it. And Stitch Dots is the company, and they also sent us a bracelet that you can mount your Stitch Dot mm -hmm. on. So like Mom's truck, I was wearing that all week, um, or necklace pendants that you can put the Stitch Dot there. Mm -hmm. So if you have a particularly favorite design, and, and those are really cute because they're pictures of actual needlework, and yep. so you can have a picture of this, what you're stitching stuck on your fabric. Absolutely. Uh, Kelly, she's curious what we like to do while we're stitching. Audiobooks, TV, floss tube, quiet, podcast, what do we do? I do TV and floss tube. I do mostly, I, I don't know, TV, I guess, at night TV. I'll catch up on my shows and some floss tube. But in the car or at soccer, I like quiet. I just like sitting there. And it's the calm before the storm, before I pick up all the kids from school. Um, Maria, when making bows, do you use wired ribbon? Yes, sometimes. And then I do use regular ribbon sometimes and strips of fabric. Yep. It depends on what goes with what I'm doing. A.R. Hunt, do you have a trick to pull the fancy floss off the skine for two pieces because we don't do the loop method? I do. I just separate it and... I have a trick. Mom's gonna think I'm nuts. You don't have a trick? I don't know. I've just been doing it for so long. I don't think it's a trick. I don't know. You don't use your armpit? No. Yeah, so make sure that your <laughs> armpit's clean. You don't want an extra saucy armpit or anything. <laughs> but I put the end of it in my armpit and then I take the two pieces off and I just go down here and it keeps the tension down so there's no knots. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so. <laughs> Just think all Chelsea's stitching has been through her armpit. <laughs> Not, I usually wear clothes though, so it's okay. Usually. <laughs> Smells like secret deodorant. <laughs> um, okay, so there you go. There's your demonstration. Um, <laughs> I can show my armpits in the video because they don't look like my I just hands. hold mine in front of me and just work it down. Yeah, no, I don't have patience for that. My armpit's much faster. Try it. Um, okay. Amanda wanted to know, have you stitched prairie schooler birds and the bees? If so, how did you finish it? No. Did I? No. No. That's... Do you have one? I don't even know. Well, we're going to have to look it up now. All right. I Once know that there's that where the bees are, but I don't know about birds and the bees. Oh, I'll look. Once Upon a Stitch, I uh, had a hard time finding the thread conversion for Bless Our Home on your blog. Uh, for the red, we used Barn Door. For the blue, we used Old, old Blue, blue Jeans. jeans. Uh, the brown of the roof and the tree of the trunk, we converted to a gray, which is called Stepping, Stepping Stones. Stone. And the greens in the uh, pattern, we used Eve's Leaves. Mm-hmm. And then the rest was DMC, right? Rest was DMC. White. We just picked a little bit of um, yeah, yellow. Yeah, like yellow for some flowers. If you want to do it that way or use it. Mm -hmm. you know. And then mom picked a, a DMC, maybe a fancy floss color. Whatever color she had was just a leftover color to fill in Ron's colors so it looked like her. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Joan, this is for both of you. What's your favorite ride at Disney? Oh, mm. girl. Just one? Yeah. Well, uh, well when, we walk, when we walk in the date, get, oh gates of the Magic Kingdom, we don't we walk head this well. we to Buzz Lightyear. That's our first ride, and we ride it like four times in a row because you can get on and on and on. Lately, though, you've been kind of prima, and you've made us stop at Starbucks for your tea. <laughs> so we haven't gotten right in line yet. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't stop first. It was a joke. Um... Book it to Buzz Lightyear. Mm -hmm. That's like the tradition whenever we go to Magic Kingdom. Um, I love Tower of Terror. I do too. And the Seven Dwarves Mine Train. Mm -hmm. Splash Mountain. I, I love them all. I can't see. Big Thunder Mountain. Yep. In Disneyland, the Matterhorn. Uh... And, oh, um, Toy Story Mania. Oh, gosh. Yes, well, we love that. The family has competitions, hands down. <laughs> Anything that we can say, oh, I beat you, uh, again. I, I, I'm not good at that one. I'm really good at the Buzz Lightyear one. I can beat everybody in the Buzz Lightyear. Is it because I it's 3D? Put my mind to it. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, it's a little bit harder for me to see with the 3D glasses. But all the boys are like so athletic, so it's it's 
it's hard it's... for us to <laughs> to keep up. Mm -hmm. I don't think that that contributes to their. I do. <laughs> I do. And they play video games. We don't play video games. That's a lie. You would play... Okay, so here's a backstory. <laughs> so the boys used to play like Ratchet and Clank or something like that mm. on PlayStation. And they would never collect the coins. They had no patience it for it. It wasn't coins, it was bolts. Bolts. And you need bolts to get into the next level or whatever that is. So while they were at school, she'd run back through the lands and pick up the bolts <laughs> for them. <laughs> Share a little tidbit. Okay, but I don't play video games. I don't. We also, we would get, for Christmas, we would get, like, Silent Hill and Snake, and we'd all sit in, with our sleeping bags under the Christmas tree playing very scary games called the Silent Night. Silent, and Silent Hill. Hill, sorry. Silent Hill, not Silent Night. We Those didn't play them, though. Yeah. No, we watched. I never played. You were we on the computer played. looking up how to beat certain <laughs> levels. We'd be running to GameStop to get the book. It was like a huge book of how to beat the, the game. All right. Um, Barb is looking for a cranberry color even weave fabric and hasn't had any luck. Do you recommend dye and what kind of dye? Well, we use Rit dye when we dye, but I... We've never... I've never done, done anything like in the red. Cranberry red color. So I don't but know. But all how... those fabric dyers, you could probably find that really easily. Yeah. Color and cotton, hand, by, hand dyed by Stephanie. I mean, there's tons of. And even that one on eBay. Garibaldi's. Yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> Ghirardelli. <laughs> um, Tilo, what is the name of the prairie schooler you started this week? Oh my goodness, which one? The, oh, the Christmas cat. Samplers? Yes, Christmas Samplers, book 63. Yeah, this one was hard to find. I don't know if it's been re-released re yet. Okay. And uh, she said, when are you coming to Disney Paris? I live three hours from there. <laughs> Tomorrow. No. <laughs> uh, that's on my bucket list. That one, is, and I think there's Tokyo, is it? Mm -hmm. I mean, the rides look phenomenal there, too. I don't know. Bucket list. My bucket list, um, like my lifetime trip that I want to do with my mom is to go to Italy. Mm -hmm. I think that would be fantastic. It ain't going to happen this year, but <laughs> <laughs> I said by my 30th birthday, that's came and gone. All right. That's all I have for questions. Okay. Can you believe that? So now, without further ado, the Queen Bee Flower Farm. Are you talking about me? Oh, no. no, it's Ronnie. It's <laughs> Because people are saying that Ronnie's the queen bee. So they, there it they're is. They're asking if Calvin's going to be in the next one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's many comments about and Calvin Ronnie. got mail yesterday. <laughs> Ronnie was quite upset. <laughs> but here it is. You saw the big part last week. Or the small part last week. Oh gosh. But there's the truck, of course, with filled with... The bee, hop, bee scops and flowers. And Here's the quilt she didn't mm -hmm. have time for hanging out the back of it. <laughs> I had originally drawn that as like a buffalo checked blanket, but Kathy changed it to a quilt like the quilts that Chelsea and I make. So I thought, think that that was so great. And a cow and chickens all over and... The chicken course, roosting in the barn. Ronnie and the cute silo. I just love it. And... Here's the, the last one. You can see how small this will be to store. So, it turned out so nice. And thank you all so much for all your nice comments and everybody saying that they're joining us. And we're doing the Stitch Along PCB, Queen, PC Queen Bee is the Stitch Along. So start tagging us and hashtagging it when you get your supplies and let us see it. But it's really cute and I love it. Okay. Do you want me to take it or you? Yeah, you take it. I got enough stuff over here. <laughs> um, so many awesome comments about the bees and the flowers and Ronnie and just all the little personal touches. I thought uh, Kathy did a wonderful job charting what mm -hmm. you drew and mm -hmm. translating it into... Um, cross stitch. Cross stitch, yes. Okay. Um, and and the, those will start shipping... They ship to stores on Monday, so next week sometime you should be able to get your hands on one. Woo! Also with that, so we'll put it in the comments, uh, in the description box below. Um, Down Sunshine Lane is offering the promo code again, so 
every time that we've done this so far, you guys know the drill. Uh, if you put in the promo code on her website, P-C-B, B-E-E, -E. Mm -hmm. P-C-B-E-E. -E. All capital letters. All capital letters, um, and you can order. She's I ordering, think, she's offering a bundle. Yep, a bundle. I, I think don't know what the discount or I don't either. whatever is, but it's a special for our viewers. Okay, all right, so now we've got some previous finishes to show you. That's you. Okay. you. Yeah, you. I don't know if I showed this one last year, but this is with thy needle and thread. So you did show this last year, and people were loving it. So I'm glad you brought it out again. Because but I brought is... out all my patriotic stuff this week, so... Memorial weekend, next mm -hmm. weekend. Is it next weekend already? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Where did May go? Uh, so she put this on blue ticking. Mm-hmm. Navy ticking, and the flowers were just some felt that I had. And this was um, and I'm doing patriotic. the the fall one was in my ma mania starts. We didn't say what the name is, so it's Plum Street Samplers. No, with thy needle and oh, thread. Oh, sorry, with thy needle and thread, not Boo and Ba. Mm-mm. I can't remember. Patriotic poppy. Yeah, I think so. I think so. But that's one of my favorite patriotic pieces. Okay. And then you want to show that one because yes. you're... So this is something that I'm adding to my mania, this Lord and mercy quality control from the <laughs> shower. <laughs> What's this? It's from Barbara Anna, and it was a freebie, I think, in Star Spangled Stitchers on Facebook. So Chelsea's going to add this to her mania. It might not be centered on there, but it's just on a magnet, so when I put it up, I'll center it. I moved it. But she saw that today, and she... I oh, love it. I'm going to fit this in, so... You guys will see that I have completely changed my mania stuff all around. Okay, and then these were those three chart packs from Little House Needleworks. I think they came out in separate years, but I did, stitched mine all last year. And I used them as a banner over my hutch. hutch in the kitchen. And so yesterday I finished up Chelsea's and I did plaid, tick, or plaid homespun on hers in all the colors that are included in these and they look so cute and she's going to do the same where she hangs them up on her hutch Wonderful. but what I do is I just take these and I put a push, push pin up on the top because it doesn't matter if there's little holes up there because nobody sees the top of the hutch and then they just hang down and I do a couple of extra garlands around them and they're just really really cute and this one I was shocked because she didn't have any tea dye on her fabric so that one definitely had to go in the middle. But don't they look great? They're so cute. And I love that we both have these and I'll have them as a garland. So I, I, I love her. I'm like, these. I'm ripping the, my stuff <laughs> off and I'm putting the plaid on. <laughs> yeah, she gets like, uh, I don't know. She's like, I just well, want everything. I'm just going to, because I um, cross stitch a lot of the same stuff that she had once cross stitch because I look at her charts and I'm like, I got to go get that. Um, and then. She finishes mine in a different way, and she's like, well, maybe I should change mine. <laughs> I say, I can just trade you, you know. I, I just think that I get better as I go along, so. Everyone does. That's good. All right, and then this week's finishes. Do you have anything for this week that you finished? I do, but I'm just going to include it in, with my mania stuff. I'm going to show it now because I've got it out. Uh, so, Old Glory, I Little House Needleworks. This was a mania start. I have finished that really cute uh, I changed some of the colors so the red I used um, old red paint by gentle art I used old blue jeans by uh, classic color works I used hickory sticks for the tree <laughs> and um, weeping willow for the I need to go to the store and buy some hickory sticks it's getting ridiculous I um right we have to stock up because they're all out I did take a picture of my color conversions if you're interested so that'll be on her blog when she does a blog post on this when we finish it so I'm trying to remember to start mm -hmm. doing that if I change any of the colors it's just easy for you guys to find it then if you want to know yeah okay and then I also finished thread work primitives jack in the hat so you already have two mania finishes y yes ma'am I do okay I only have how, one. how cute is this one though it's very cute. And I use the call four colors. 
I love this one. Okay. And that's my finishes for this week. I worked out in the yard a ton this week. I, I'm trying to get my garden presentable. <laughs> Me too. It's There's lots hard. of weeding, lots of... Lots of lawn mowing. We came over on Sunday for Mother's Day and helped her kind of clean up some of her garden, too. Mm -hmm. Got everybody... It was a family affair out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I can't plant my garden because we're getting a new fence, so... I have to wait. Hmm. Some of my stuff's already in. I've yeah. got tomatoes, peas... I'm jealous. Strawberries... Mom gave me some uh, blackberries to plant and mm -hmm. some, so I take a ton of her plants. So when her stuff is overgrown, she slices it up and brings it to my house for me to transplant. So I'm very lucky because plants are expensive. Mm -hmm. um, she gave me red raspberries as well to plant. So I've got a patch of each of those. We'll see how they do. And 9,000 Russian, Russian sage. Yes. That I had to get out of an area. <laughs> okay. All right. So for mania this week, on Saturday... I didn't have much stitching time, and I started... Don't fold that book. Sweet, it's got my floss in there, so keep it folded. Sweet Land of Liberty. I was telling Chelsea that I don't even get plastic bags for my stuff. I just bring it in here to the dining room table and just set it down. The dining room table is just covered with my stuff. This is our office. <laughs> <laughs> I usually clean it up after we're done with our video, but like lately with these... They're just all over everywhere. Mania. And so many of you are like, we love the longer videos. We can't wait for another one. Only for May, guys. <laughs> Don't get excited. <laughs> Sunday was Santa Sundays. And Saturday was for Stars and Stripes Saturday. And I'm doing the middle one. All I got done was a little deer. And then this was that. Because it was Mother's Day. Uh, Tilo, you were asking. This is the chart that she started this week. So Christmas Samplers, book 63. Okay, then on Monday, I started this, and I finished it on Tuesday. Lizzie, Kate, Spring, Smalls. And I finished it all the way yesterday. And I have used that frame for both my autumn and my winter. My summer I did on a picket fence, so. And I like this, but it's not totally my colors, and I might stitch it again all different, so. Yeah. You could just give that one to me. I'm sure. Because I have this frame in your basement somewhere that I bought for the stuff that I'm supposed to finish. And on Wednesday for... Witchy Wednesday, excess. I told you you'd get really far on this. I forgot about Tuesday, but that's okay. We'll do Tuesday next. Because they're both on the same piece of fabric. Huh? Chelsea made me do it. <laughs> uh, Plum I got Street. a lot done on this one, though. Plum Street samplers, buttons black. I told you this one was super easy. I even brought the purple floss in here that I'm going to use. And what did I oh. do with it? Yeah. Cause... It calls for like a hazelnut though. For the dress? Mm -hmm. No, her dress is purple. It looks like it, but... I, I don't follow those. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what else you got on here? The With Thy oh. Needle and Thread Sampler of the Season Summer. I started that. And she started in the top right corner for this one. Right, because it goes up a little bit higher than the other side. So I just wanted to make sure, because we are both, like, scraping the bottom of the barrel for fabric. We have the stove with two pots with coffee and tea and Monaco cooking away. Right now. I mean, you couldn't just cut these apart, Priscilla? I could have, but <laughs> I've been busy. I've mowed the lawn five times in two weeks. I don't do that. My husband does. <laughs> you need one of those riding ones then. I don't need a riding lawnmower. Stop it. <laughs> then Geranium House. I started last night and my start is so pitifully small. Three leaves. But this is Country Cottage Needle Works. Uh, I, I was trying to decide like my conversion and I think I'm going to use stepping stones for the branchy areas and of course hickory sticks for that and then I fell asleep. I was so tired. I fell asleep. So. That was it. Okay. And I worked a little bit more on, this was my day one start. And I got a little bit, I got the bees done and a little bit of the flower. And she's making all of those bees stationary. They're, in the pattern, they look like they're dancing. She wanted them stationary. So she's doing mm -hmm. them all it's just standing With there. Standing there, yep. Yeah, and they're done. So I just have the flowers and the stems to do. 
And then I worked a little bit. I was telling Chelsea, I'm so far behind on my monthly things. Like, I need one of these done. I need one of the hands -on farmhouse design. Christmas and one of the hands-on design white Christmas ornaments done. And I got two weeks to do it. So, but this is the pet shop. I had to run yesterday to the store and buy some floss. I actually needed DMC. So, that's it for me. Okay. And your whips? That's it. You don't have any? No, it's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. And I have to say that I have loved starting every one of my mania starts, and I'm not tired of it. I am kind of tired of trying to figure everything out, but I will get it, and I am looking forward to every single start I have here in my trusty folder. I can't believe you have a folder like that. And um, a lot of you are done with mania already, and a lot of you are at the plus two. Retreat, retreat in New Jersey. And, and it looks so much fun. So take lots of video of course. Us. Yeah. Um, last night I started Little House Needlework Stars and Stripes. You got so far for starting that last night. I had soccer practice last night. Oh. So, so I, I just need to get stuck in my car and then I can stitch a yeah, lot. Right, exactly. So soccer practice and uh, school pickup line. I changed the uh, wording to blue, the same blue that it's charted for, just because I wanted more blue in it. And I put it on that blue uh, coffee tea dyed mm -hmm. fabric that I've been obsessed with lately. Um, last Saturday for Stars and Stripes Saturday, I did a little bit of a start on America. This is Little House Needleworks chart number one, America. This is also on the blue fabric. I was watching Live PD and very tired, so... Very little start. But it started. Yep. All right. And then. You're keeping up. Monday was uh, Little Which House. I can't believe. Oh, all of these are Little <laughs> House. Um, summer Band Sampler. I like that one. I didn't know how tiny that this would be. So this is, this is how wide it is. It's cute. It's very cute. And they have I'm all have four those, seasons yeah. of these. I don't have them yet. I need to start looking for them. Um. But they're all super cute. All right, and then um, Santa Sunday, I did Mary Mary. So this is a Country Cottage Needleworks ornament. Mm -hmm. I just started the top border. It looks cute already. And I forgot to post a picture of this one. Well, I felt sleep stitching, and that's why I forgot. <laughs> and I was like, oh. Gosh. I didn't post a picture of mine last night. I was too embarrassed with three leaves. <laughs> <laughs> um, spooky Treats Boo Club is what I started for Witchy Wednesday. And yes, it's purple. I've decided that purple is okay for Halloween. Yep. I love purple for Halloween. I do too. It gives but, a pop of a color for everything. And when I was a kid, purple was my favorite color. I had purple carpet in my bedroom, and it had lavender yeah. flowers, like, in the carpet. That sounds but, gross. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, I would be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, I worked a little bit more on Red, White, and Bloom. I still love this one. I can't wait to finish it. And then I had told you guys, I plan on changing these colors. To me, they're a little bit too cartoony, so I want it really patriotic looking. Um, so I started July of Lizzie Kate. Yearbook. Yearbook, sorry. Is there only one whip on that fabric? No, oh. of course not. I've got Bless Our Home <laughs> on here. So this week I'm going to get back to Bless Our Home. I'm almost done. I've decided what I'm doing with my Dog three wise. dogs and my chicken on the fence post. So it'll be done. I got to get that up in my house. Mm -hmm. I look at my stuff and I'm like, I just need more cross stitch. Mm -hmm. All right. You never have too much, right? You can't. I mean, it's something you made and you get to look at it every day. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you want it up there? That's just me. Okay. So what next? Oh, uh, let me go to my uh, mm -hmm. paper plate list. Now we've got our mania lists okay. of what you're going to work on this week, Priscilla. Yay. Okay, so for today, is this the last week or do we got one, We have one more week left? Okay, so we have th this coming week and then we have, uh, yeah, almost a whole week. Wow. So we're, we're staying So this there. is Happy Fall, y'all, from Country Cottage Needleworks. This will so, be for Fall Friday. Again, we're taping our video. This is Friday morning, so she had to do a, a Friday. 
so next Monday is not, but the week after is Memorial Day. So we need a patriotic start for that, right? Right. Okay, so basket full of summer from With Thy Needle and Thread will be for Stars and Stripes Saturday. I haven't changed any of mine yet and Chelsea said she keeps switching in and out so I so I wanted nothing more than to start Jack's bash and I have put that at like the end of my mania plans now I just keep putting it off I'm like I don't want to start a big one right now <laughs> so Mary three from Plum Street you're a grand old flag that'll be Tuesday then Wednesday, I'm doing the Halloween string, or what's it called? Spooky string from... Yep, Spooky string for, Lizzie by Kate. Lizzie Kate. Remember, these are very small. I did the summer one. And they're very thin. And then the next day is the buzzy string, and I'm looking forward to these because they're both small. And she already has how she's going to finish them. We mm -hmm. put that together for her so she would... Oh, gosh, I want to do that. So bad. Okay. Snow for Christmas. What day was this? That'll be Thursday because these guys are Friday. The Crows from, who is this from? Good Housewife. Yep. And I can't wait to do those. But that's, like I said, I love everything that I have coming up. and I love these. I've got even more great stuff coming. I think I I'm going to do that, this one for Memorial Day. The stars and stripes forever. Mm -hmm. A quick comment. Um, that America pattern that I had started, we had mentioned that we had seen it finished on blue fabric with white polka dots. Mm -hmm. And a couple people had asked where we saw that. Uh, Faye Rigsby is another finisher. And I think she has an Instagram Yes, she page. has an Instagram. Okay, an Instagram. And that's where we saw it on there. Mm -hmm. She features... It wasn't, it her, wasn't her, her stitching. stitching. She it was finished her finishing. It. Yep, she finished it for somebody. But... Um, it was really pretty. Another one that you showed me yesterday that I loved the color conversions of. Was it yesterday that you showed it to me? The Milk and Cream Company. Oh, right. Company. That was from Elizabeth at Vintage Stitches. It's really pretty. If you t check her out, too. Her color conversions On Instagram, for, I saw that. for uh, Milk and Cream Co. by Plum Street. I may be lightening mine up a little bit. Yeah, it, it's awesome because I hadn't chosen I had only chosen and it, it almost looks like she used that same floss that I used for the the clouds but I hadn't chosen all the rest of the colors because I knew I wouldn't get to it yet so I can change it <laughs> <laughs> okay now we um all right so last week on Saturday after we did the video um a big box came to mom's house and she's like oh who's that for and I was like me <laughs> <laughs> And I, it was just funny. It's awesome. <laughs> but I have to show you what Debbie made for the baby. It brought me to tears. You sure it's not for me? It's, it's for me. <laughs> Can I see it? Can I? Look at this quilt. The quilting is, uh, it's amazing. And she sent you a book too. And yep. the back of it is even amazing. The, I mean. The cute fabric. I am in love with it. It is absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to put it in the nursery. When it goes missing from the baby's room. <laughs> it's not coming here. Um, I mean, the work that went into this is absolutely, it's gorgeous. Yes. And you're an amazing quilter. Yes. I mean, and we suck at quilting. But <laughs> we'll you keep are. making our sucky quilts. <laughs> we look at these and we're like, oh, wow, we yeah. are bad. We are failures. But <laughs> It's beautiful, and I can't thank you enough. And my, my whole family was just like, oh, my goodness. Yeah. You know? Even the brothers. Yep. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much. I, I appreciate this more than you know. Thank you. And then, um, I love it. I'm just going to use it right now. <laughs> thank you. And then uh, somebody asked me for Calvin's address on Instagram. Oh, my goodness. Calvin got mail. I'm going to post a photo at the Ronnie's end of the video. Ronnie's just hiding her head in shame. She got a cross stitch, okay? Um, so I'll and, post it. And then it came like this. I should hide all this. But <laughs> Calvin. To Calvin. Um, so thank you so much for the Calvin's and little... The, and the cute card. that, And she said that she hopes that, <laughs> that it helps Calvin to like me. But he just took it and ran. So <laughs> I can't wait to send the photo that I have of him. <laughs> Um, I'll post it at the end of the video. This is from worry. Julie. So thank you, Julie. 
what's her foster tube name? Kansas City girl in a Colorado world, is that right? KY world? Kansas City girl in a Colorado world. I think that that's her foster tube channel. Thank you so much, Julie. We appreciate it. <sighs> At least I Calvin appreciates it. He liked it. She's like, it has the good stuff in there. But I just found it. He took it from me, and I found it in the family room next to my chair where I sit and stitch. So maybe he was giving it back to me. I think that he secretly <laughs> loves you. Calvin had to eat uh, wet dog food today <laughs> instead of wet cat food. He eats it because... <laughs> My mom says his deadbeat dad didn't buy him a can of cat food. <laughs> My that, son. Right. There's your shout out, Hunter. <laughs> um, that's how we talk to each other in this family. Albatrosses and... Oh, and thank you so much for the kind words about uh, the belly photo. I thought that that was hysterical. We had a few with my stepdad, too, in the mix with his belly showing, but... No, we didn't, did we? Yeah, when we first did it over here. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> So, I'm the one that took those pictures. I don't remember that part. Yeah, so we chose the children. <laughs> um, so now we had a giveaway last week uh, featuring the Stitch Dots that Stitch mm -hmm. Dots sent us. So the Needle Nannies. Um, and we opened it up and you're getting more than the two Needle Nannies Yeah, we didn't we know you. what you were getting. So I wanted to know. You're you're getting the we what we think is either a, a key chain fob or a scissor fob um, and then a few needle nannies in mm -hmm. there for it's a you. very nice quite gift. a few and thank you so much stitch, to stitch dots. dots for sending these to us okay so without and, further and ado. I don't know if you saw the new stitch dots for the Queen Bee flower farm but oh my gosh they're so cute I haven't seen Ronnie them. is oh, on yes, the stitch dot Ron Ron Jen um, she thinks she's a superstar we don't want it to get to her head so we're not you know <laughs> I don't know if we'll let her know that she's on one of the stitch shots or did you already show her oh I showed she her. ordered probably like a collar that she can <laughs> magnetize them all on for she'd be stuck to the fence <laughs> <laughs> um, um, <laughs> where's ronnie <laughs> uh, i was talking to mom if we ever went to like a retreat ronnie would have to come and she'd just have to sit there and stitch with <laughs> us the whole time all right so the winner uh what did they answer they answered how many whips they have and somebody said it uh should you really be asking that that's, that's like asking personal. a woman her age and i thought it was i said excuse our manners mm -hmm. um so thistle stitcher you have won the stitch dot package so get a hold of us two ways are better than one and i put our emails in the bottom of the video now so that you can email us email us too so if you don't or have an instagram, instagram or facebook. message or facebook message facebook. or email email okay oh i also wanted to show what i got for my mother's day gift for my mom <laughs> i'm like a faux mom still i guess somebody said well your first one will be next year i counted it as this year because i'm <laughs> carrying this thing lugging it around <laughs> um I don't know if you can see it says Disney mom so these were they came out and people just snatched them up and stuck them on eBay so you couldn't get them anywhere and mom was able to uh, get one. Oh, I didn't show what I'm gonna be doing this week for mania that's okay are you gonna show it yeah I'll show you guys sorry <laughs> all right you probably already saw it last week since so she's <laughs> swapping things around but you did um, so, <laughs> Jolly Jack from All Through the Night. That looks familiar. <laughs> Birds and the Bees. That looks familiar too. Did you skip all these last week? No, I didn't. This one was not from last week. The week before? <laughs> October, country. I have a lot of like fall and Halloween. I don't know how I saved them all to the end of the, the month, but. Um, this one I'm really excited about. So this is yes. the Little Stitcher. So I if you this. can check her out on Etsy. She has an yeah. Etsy, right? She has some really they, they pretty ones. They sell regular stores, though, too. I just looked at her Etsy so I could see all of her stuff exclusively. She has, like, I think it's the Green Christmas. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just, there's some really pretty patterns. So this is hers. I love that. Santa Claus is coming to town. I don't know how I found her. Maybe somebody did this, and I, I don't know, but I was really excited to. You got that off of Down Sunshine Lane, though. I remember that. Right. 
I'm saying I don't know what made me think to go to her Etsy shop. Yeah. No. Uh, Land That I Love by Country Cottage Needleworks. And I'm getting some fabric dyed for this one now, so I'll be able to start it. Um, Christmas rolls. Mm -hmm. Yep, we got two pots simmering on the stove, and yes, so we are both scraping the bottom of the barrel for fabric. Obviously, if she was putting two things on one piece of fabric, whoo! Well, no, I was just too lazy to go cut it. All right, so it's we'll been a long week. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> why it feels that way but maybe just because I've been working out in the sun all day and I get inside at night and I'm like oh it's time to stitch and I'm just like oh I had finishing to do though too I mean I you finished did my farm thing I finished your things yes I love I that. finished that Lizzie Kate I had to redo my magnets and stuff on the back of my now you brought your home. patriotic stuff up I know this will be a question you brought your patriotic stuff out for Memorial Day do you take it down now for June or do you keep it no, up throughout it the summer? No it stays up until after the 4th of July and then I start with the sunflowers that like middle to end of July. Okay so I know that'll be a question in there so might as well answer it now. Okay what are you giving away this week? What are we giving away? Oh <laughs> <laughs> that was your one thing to remember. <laughs> <sighs> so we don't have the charts yet, but we are offering up two of the Queen Bee Flower Farms to you guys. So, since we already gave away one and we'll give away two more now, that'll be the three that we usually give away. Yep, yeah, so we'll send them as soon as we receive them. Mm -hmm. We just want to be able to get, um, get a it in your pick. hands faster yeah. because by the time we go another week for the video, so this way. Yeah, get it when you stitch yeah. it. No rush. No rush. So it's, I'll be stitching them up for a It's the collaboration time. between Hands On Design and myself from chalkboard to cross stitch, and you get the chart for both pieces. So we want two winners, and what's the question? The question is going to be, so there's been an uproar now about hick sticks, so hashtag hick sticks. <laughs> that is the favorite fancy floss of Priscilla Blaine. Mm -hmm. So we want to know what your favorite fancy floss color is, and if you don't use D, uh, fancy floss, what your favorite DMC color is. If there's a color that you always like to substitute certain things for. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And uh, like brownish gray is not my favorite color, but it goes in like everything I stitch. All her so, charts, yeah. I mean, if I had to pick my favorite color, it would probably be barn door no I mean like a favorite color of mine would be maybe like aqua or pink but I don't use those so much in well I use the aqua but not in cross -stitch. I don't know but in cross stitch my favorite fancy plus color is definitely hickory we sticks. digress um I don't know what mine is so oh I was saying like old red paint um or barn door by country cut wait <laughs> classic color works and gentle art mm -hmm. um but the my, red would not be your favorite color in real life what mm -hmm. would your favorite color be mine is pink mm -hmm. i like pink mm -hmm. so yeah we do plan on, so there are lots of ideas running through our heads, so just so you guys know, because a lot of you ask these each week, do you plan on doing, like, so we plan on doing a nursery video, we plan on, once the baby comes, we'll probably be filming a couple more times at my house, just to make it easier for me. <laughs> um, so you'll see the chicken coop, I'm getting the backyard ready for that. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see mom's gardens as soon as they're and I'm hoping to do a patriotic one too we're having some work done again so my house is disaster yeah it's this like construction zone stuff is like mm -hmm. um so we do plan on doing that I want to do a yard sauce video we'll get it all up and there we want to show how we stitch in hand too and yes. we just have to do it mm-hmm um one thing I do want to say though, if you're a newer subscriber, we do have, I, it's a while back now, we did post a video about coffee tea dyeing yes, our fabric. Yes, I've had questions about that and I've had to link our video a few yep. times to people, so. Do you know what video number it was? No. When you linked it? It, did, it wasn't a number. Yeah. It was? Probably. I didn't think you even. Ronnie number. is snoring over there, so we've gone way too long. Um, <laughs> 
So just look in the uh, previous videos and it says tea coffee dyeing right there and it, it shows you everything. Again, we've only dyed Ada and uh, Monaco, but in the comments you can see people who have tried different types of I did dabbing. try dyeing that Lugana and it didn't work out that good. Okay. For so me, there you go. with the tea coffee dyed, I didn't think it took the color as well, but I think it's because there's some synthetic things in there. But maybe you doubled them. Farm Girl, sorry, we didn't have the same color shirt on, but I couldn't find my white one. Mine doesn't fit, so when I stand up, you guys will see. Mine my husband's probably fit. got it in his suitcase out of town. <laughs> my white shirt was missing for the longest time, and it was on my husband's side of the closet. Or else so. Calvin took it, and he's sleeping with no, it. No, because we didn't get our clicker back yet, so he... Ew, oh, he's sleeping with your shirt now. Mm -hmm. I'm 32 weeks as of yesterday. Um, I got these uh, nice maternity shorts on that come all the way up here. <laughs> my little girdles. <laughs> Baby's getting big. I am doing fine. I'm just a little bit more tired than usual. So I'm it's just on okay. the outside time. Yep, and I get yelled at every single day. Don't be doing too much. We're not having a baby right now. So... <laughs> Who yells at you like that? You. Oh. <laughs> Not my husband. <laughs> you. <laughs> all right. So that's all we've got this week. So next week, again, you'll see more Mania stuff. We'll have yes. um, hopefully Mania some finishes. Mania has been fun. I, I've loved every bit of it, and I love seeing everybody starts, and it's just been fun. Yeah, I like... Oh, and thank you, too, to... Who were the two people I said that, that said that... Oh, Donna Ray from Flannel Janney's Farm talked about our stitch along and she loved the queen bee yeah. and country stitchers it's deb and liz they mentioned it yesterday too in their video that they loved it so Shout thank out. you thank you so much appreciate it mm -hmm. we're excited about all the feed i love reading all the comments even though i have no part in it i just love reading all the comments i'm very proud of my mom and kathy for putting out a, a, an awesome design um, now for me, I don't plan on stitching that on black. So if you're one of those people who is scared to stitch on black, it would look good on other fabric colors. Just like that, um, Fresh Eggs Farm, you know, we did it on the mm -hmm. tea coffee dyed. I plan on, can I show what I plan on doing mm -hmm. mine on? Yeah. This. So the blue that I really love, I think it'll pop Is pretty. it blue or is that gray? It's like a blue gray, a boy. But it's coffee tea dyed too. Coffee tea dyed. And um, I think it'll look beautiful with that too. Mm -hmm. So if you're scared about stitching on black. And we saw that the whole piece completed on tea coffee dyed by, I can't remember her name right now. Star Trek Sandy on Instagram. We're terrible with names. Mm -hmm. Terrible. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all we have for you okay. this week. Uh, again, in the comments below, you will put what favorite floss color, what, yeah, what's your favorite floss color? <laughs> um, and then don't say giveaway, don't say free. We don't want anybody else getting it, but stitchers. Right, and be a subscriber, like the video. And if you get your finishing inspiration from us, tag my blog, tag us, at Priscilla Blaine, at Chelsea356 on Instagram, Priscilla's2000 on Facebook, Priscilla's2000.blogspot.com where you can see more of everything that we show you every week. Somebody asked if I have a blog and I don't. I get my blogging done for free. <laughs> um, it's, it's kind of part of the finishing thing. So I was thinking yesterday blogger. when I was doing my mania starts that I should have gotten all your pictures and done yours at the same time. But yeah, I might do a blog post at the end of all yours. I've got. She didn't think I was going to last. Let's no, be very clear. No, I did not clear. think she would. She last. thought I was going to do like five days and be like, "I'm giving it up." No, I was mm -mm. thinking more like ten. Listen, I am powering through. Mm -hmm. I may only get ten stitches done on one, but I am doing it. Yes, mostly to spite my mom. <laughs> Just kidding. And <laughs> how many whips do you have? Did you count? Oh God, no. I have twenty. <laughs> I have twenty-four, except for my new mania starts this week. So I didn't have as many as I thought I did. I'm not counting. I'm not putting that out there. We made everybody else count, but you're not going to count? Sorry. Tell her she needs to count for next week. I'll count them for next week, and I'll quietly put it in. I'll and no reverse in the numbers or anything like that. Right. <laughs> All right, guys. We will see you 
do we have anything else? I don't think so. And We've if we gone get, through. If we forgot anything, we're sorry. But you know, Thistle Stitcher. <laughs> make sure you reach out to us. Email us. Uh, Facebook, Instagram. Mm -hmm. However, you can hold a, get a hold of us. Two ways are better than one, and then we can send out the stitch dots to you. Congratulations again on yes. winning, Jeannie Swartz. Sorry for last week, um, but we did reach out mm -hmm. to her, made sure that she wouldn't pre-order the chart beforehand. So yes. thank you so much, and congratulations for guessing the farm right. And thank, thank you for the gifts. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for everything. We Thank you. you all. Thank you for spending your Saturdays with us. Mm -hmm. We love it more than anything. Guys, I'm trying to talk everyone into a Disney retreat, you know, just to get another <laughs> Disney trip out of this year, but I don't know if it's going to happen. I'll let you know, though. We might just be stuck in a room watching Disney movies, and that'll be it. <laughs> all right, guys. So we will see you next week. Bye.